understand that you were excited to bring Dr. Bob Sound School to Estes. I was. What about the curriculum excited you? Well, one, it tied directly to the standards. With Sound School, what it does, it brings the standards to life. Kids love science. They're just naturally inclined to it. But if all they get is through a book, it just doesn't make that connection. It doesn't resonate like Sound School does. They understand understand my doing. Dr. Bob Sound School is very cool because you get to do all these cool experiments. We got to play kazoos and we did an experiment of how sound moves. That's probably the best experiment. I've been the executive director of the foundation for 10 years and I always say to people how many chances do you get in life to nurture this incredible legacy of inspiration and innovation, you get one chance. And what more powerful way to be able to do that than to inspire kids. So that, that to me is, is a life's work and I am very passionate and committed to it because I think it will help shape our future. When children get to learn about Dr. Bob Moog, I think there's the chance for them to see that that sort of creativity and innovation and childlike wonder can exist throughout our lives. The foundation that we're laying in Dr. Bob's Sound School isn't just for their scientific knowledge. It's to help them become better people and to carry that innovation and creativity forward in their lives. What makes it different for the kids is that it's multi-sensory and there are so many components so that no matter what type of learner your students are, they will be able to connect with the lesson. And the structure of the lesson is great, having the scientists circle and talking about an essential question for the day and then having them go out and be able to explore either as partners or in groups or individually. Through Dr. Bob Sound School, we teach kids about the entire chain of sound. And by that I mean, how sound is made, how it travels, and how it's heard. So throughout the 10 weeks, we're teaching them the very basic physics of sound. Uh, we use a lot of musical instruments. We weave them throughout the curriculum, and it makes it a multi-sensory experience for them. I think it was just really fun, just learning about sound and how it travels. My favorite thing was we used cups, and there was a string that went through the cup. I talked through the cup, and there was the wiggle, also known as the vibration. It went across that string and came into came deep. I think my favorite part about the curriculum development process was how um, excited everyone was to be working on a project related to Bob Moog and Bob Moog's legacy. Bob Moog is, is infused throughout the curriculum both because we purposefully focused on the science that he loved, but also because uh, the people who were doing the work loved him so much. We got to see the success of the program as the children learned about the science of sound and then showed us what they were learning in what we call the grand finale, the wonderful performance at our local venue called the Orange Peel, where we take all the second graders now after they're done and they can put on a show for their classmates and teachers and families about what they've learned. What's been fun about it? Um, um, like when we used the tuning fork and then we banged it against the table and then we put it into the water, it made like sparks from water because of the vibrations. I just like how you get to test all the instruments and stuff. And when you get to do like the ocean drum and you beat the drum, you can see the beads move. I think Dr. Bob's sound school is really cool. I really liked when we hit the gong and then see, saw what the vibrations would do if we put it in water and if we put it on something. Because the vibrations from the gong made the vibrations go into the water and it made little ripples in the water, which was really cool to watch. Science, technology, 
uh, engineering and mathematics. I mean, it's, it's, it's the cornerstone in so many ways for our country. If we don't build that foundation, if, if we don't kind of make, get that spark going in elementary, it, it could be lost. We can bring content to them in a way that's highly engaging. And if they're engaged, they learn. If they're engaged in the content, they're more apt to read it. So you can build a lot of things around, around that scenario right there. Dr. Bob!